right let us come back and solve your 2016 paper in 2016 paper what did they give me give me they've again given the structures so structures i've already done in video number 97 for the interhalogen compounds then i also did this xcf4 structures that is a uh, group 18 elements under video number 52 please watch the playlist then uh, we have one more question what happens when so2 is passed through aqueous solution of fe plus 3 done here i have taught you the different oxidizing properties so that comes under video number 78 that is oxidizing property of sulfur dioxide watch that video i've given listed out many uh, examples for that right so next question xcf4 reacts with sbf5 okay simple question this is xcf4 plus sbf5 simple you it's going to form two complexes just see <coughs> one fluorine from here shifts to this so this becomes xcf3 minus one because this is accepted this becomes sbf6 plus that's it this is the complex done so2 is reducing while teo2 is oxidizing why okay so when i have to see from sulfur to tellurium when i go down the group which oxidation state is more stable higher or lower so when i see sulfur ox the stable oxidation state is plus six this is stable and in tellurium the stable oxidation state is plus four now see when it is plus 6, when I say it is plus 6, that means it can lose electrons. When it can lose electrons, that means isn't it reducing in nature? Reducing, isn't it? Now, here plus 4 oxidation state compared to this is less. So, this is oxidizing. So, how should you write? <coughs> down the group, down the group, stability of higher oxidation state decreases okay decreases when it is higher it has lost that means reducing for sulfur already they say so2 is reducing so higher oxidation state decreases for example sulfur the stable oxidation state is plus six plus six is stable for tellurium stable oxidation state is plus four plus four done so this shows that so2 is so 2 is reducing and your TeO2 is oxidizing done so I have written the same here oxidizing so simple whichever has higher oxidation state that means it has lost electrons 6 electrons when it is losing electrons reducing nature here compared to 6 4 is less so it is oxidizing in nature so write this down down the group stability of higher oxidation state decreases means lower oxidation states are more stable it will not tend to lose electrons if it is not losing electrons it is oxidizing uh, this one isn't it so remember uh, did i say something mm, plus 6 okay it's correct only so remember higher oxidation state is reducing lower oxidation state oxidizing now let us come back n2 does not perform form pentahalides okay why is n2 not forming pentahalides they said <coughs> what is the reason when something has to form pentahalides it should possess d orbitals so simple nitrogen does not possess d orbitals when it does not possess d orbitals automatically we say you can say that it does not form pentahalides done icl is more reactive than i2 okay why is this more reactive when i have to see the bond between these two so icl bond and when i compare this to icl bond is weaker interhalogen compounds bond is very weak so icl bonds are weaker compared to compared to ii bond so when the bond is weaker automatically they are reactive isn't it hence are reactive that's it simple eight marks answer uh, like uh, uh, simple like, if you write the concept and write the keyword automatically you will get the mark